Hello smart people, today I wanna show you how to set up LoRa Bridge and integrate mailbox sensor into Home Assistant in multi-user mode. Well, let's get started. Before uploading sketch into mailbox sensor, we need to change couple of things. Frequency, sync word and two keys. My USB TTL does not have a 3V powerful output, for that reason I will use a battery. There is no connection between Arduino and the battery. You need to press and hold test button or make a bridge into these two contacts, V and S, until Arduino IDE finish uploading. Now we need to configure Mosquito Broker. If you have done it, you can skip this part. Open Home Assistant, go to Supervisor, Mosquito Broker, Configuration, add username and password. LoRa Gateway will connect to Broker using this information. After, click Save and Restart Add-on. Now we can deal with the Gateway. As a gateway, we will use project OpenMQTT Gateway. It supports two LoRa boards, Heltec and Liligo. I will use Liligo LoRa version 1. Product links in the description. So we can start by downloading OpenMQTT Gateway project files. To compile project, you need to install Visual Studio code. I already have it installed. Open Visual Studio. Click extension, search for platform IO and click install. Click open project and open project folder. We need to customize code, change a few things, board type, frequency and sync word. Click on file platform mini. If you're using TTGO board, on comment line 54. Click on main folder, config lora.h and change config according to your needs. Connect board to PC and click platform IO upload button. Wait until upload is done. Take your phone and search Wi-Fi with name OpenMQTT Gateway. Default password is your underscore password. Connect to it and enter Wi-Fi and MQTT informations. Then click save. Now open your Wi-Fi router web interface to make sure that LoRa gateway is connected to Wi-Fi network. If you did everything right, Gateway should automatically appear in Home Assistant. Time to test it. Open your developer tools. In Entity section, type Gateway. We can see state is unknown. After pressing test button on Mailbox sensor, state is hopefully will change to our own key. We need to download special Python script, it can change state of entity. Paste the downloaded folder into Home Assistant config directory. In configuration.yaml file, add new line, python underscore script, and restart Home Assistant. After Home Assistant Restart is done, go to Configuration, Automation and click Add Automation. We need to set up two automation. First for sending notification. Second automation allow deleting mailbox notification from family members phones so that they do not have to check it if you have already taken the content of the mailbox.
set trigger type to state choose entity sensor.gateway LoRa in section 2 type K from Arduino code for section is basically delay function this is for not to get notified twice add action action type call service for service choose notify.mobile data section might differ if you have an iPhone I will leave a link to the wiki page under the video where you can find specific settings for iOS your image file need to be in a media folder click save go up and click run action you will receive notification if everything works we can continue add one more automation give it a name trigger type event event type event data action colon received add action action type notify.mobile message clear underscore notification title and target leave unchecked in data section tag colon mailbox you need to create this action for all family members click add action action type call service in service section choose python script set state fill in service data entity id and state and click save now the most important part if this video was helpful then don't forget to like and subscribe that's all thanks for watching and until next time